gentlemen welcome to the video today we're gonna to be looking at Paolo Maldini everybody knows Maldini as one of the greatest center backs that ever played a game of course he's gonna cost you a pretty penny he cost me 1.1 million and what a defender he was I mean center back he this man is he defines that center back position he's got incredible pace incredible composure incredible passing his agility and balance is really good for a centre back. He's got fantastic physicals. He's got brilliant, I mean, what almost look maxed out defending skills. When it comes to his ability to defend, to defend is next to none. But <clears throat> this card is going to cost you a lot of money. In fact, it's better if we talk about his negatives before because his negatives are only one or two. So, some negatives I've seen with Maldini is. His price, of course, is really, really expensive. And because of whatever happened with EA making that huge mistake, I didn't, I did lose quite a bit of money. I lost quite a lot of coins on Maldini, which was a shame. And also, one thing is about Maldini is he's not the most, he's not the strongest defender in the game. Okay, he's not the strongest. He's not the most bullish, and he's not an auto defender. What I think Maldini thrives on is Maldini thrives on somebody who knows how to defend when to time a slight attacker when to go in for a challenge he's got sensational composure sensational stand tackle and slide tackle you need somebody who knows how to defend okay Maldini is the man for you Maldini will cure any issues in your defending no problem he'll defend as a center back he'll run out wide he's got that type of pace he can play left back this guy is such a versatile centre back and a defender. It is ridiculously how is ridiculous how good he is. He's always been one of my favourite centre backs. The I paired him up with Lucio. Now Lucio is a really good pairing of Maldini and Lucio. And the reason why I'm saying that is because they actually complement each other really well. Lucio is stronger than Maldini. He's more physical. He's more dominant than Maldini. And then Maldini is the brain. If I needed someone to slide tackle, if I needed somebody to go for that last ditch challenge, then probably Maldini is going to be the man. But if I want to go out you straight away, take the ball off, he dispossess you, you know, slide tackle you, or you know, just on you all the time, I'll probably get Lucio to do it. But Maldini is that kind of stay back boss of defending. I want him staying back. He's really intelligent. He makes sensational runs back into the box to get the ball back for you. And it kind of, he kind of makes defending really easy. It's very hard to use Maldini on Lucio and then switch to normal defenders because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know where to position themselves. Maldini's stand tackle is so sublime, and that's one thing important here. He's got a four-star weak foot, which means he can defend on either foot. And I think people overlook this. It is really important. And then on top of all that, he's really good on the ball. Maldini, have you ever seen Maldini on the ball? Even in real life, he's sensational. He's got fantastic dribbling for somebody who plays in center back. He can run with the ball. He, he's, he's got decent shooting as well. This card is really, really complete. It's like a very, very complete centre back. And I love Maldini to bits. What he offers for the team is, is assurance, a guarantee that he'll look after you at the back. He kind of organises the defensive line. And I think he's the one guy who'll always be in position. And I think how important that is, you can't buy that. Having somebody who knows where to stand, every time he does a stand tackle, he takes the ball off you. Brilliant centre back, fantastic ability to dispossess you off the ball, and I love him to bits. I'm going to give Maldini. Well, Maldini's only got a few weaknesses, you know, but he's, you know, he's not the strongest defender, okay, but I do think he uses his strength really well. Maldini, I'm going to give him a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I do think he's the best centre back in the game. I really do think, for me anyway. I mean, I know the pros are loving Lucio, but I kind of like manually defending and I have my utmost respect for Maldini. Not only that, but Maldini's got the height as well. I think he's six foot two. Maldini, I don't want to be weird here, but Maldini is like the perfect man. I mean, he's good looking. 
He's strong. He's amazing. He's fearless. He's got amazing composure. There is just Mal. It doesn't get better than Maldini. It really does. I mean, you talk about the centre back position. You talk about being a man, and I think Maldini is just the man. He is the man of the centre back position. He really is. His height means he can win headers as well. He's just a very reliable centre back to have. Thank you very much.